Hello Eagles fans, let's just jump right into it. I love having football friends because when stuff happens, if I'm not right on uh, the, the radio listening to it, they text me directly. So this is a good shout out from my man Mike, a Titans fan from Philly, but I love this guy. But anyway, he texted me pretty recently, roster move, Eagles acquire quarterback Ronald Darby from Buffalo in exchange for wide receiver Jordan Matthews and a 2018 third round pick. What are your thoughts? All right, man, first, thanks very much, Mike. I love talking football with you. You're knowledgeable, and you're not a bandwagon fan. You're, so thank you very much. Um, so yeah, my thoughts about this. Now, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Jordan Matthews at the end, but I like it, don't like it for certain reasons. Obviously, looking at how the Eagles played last night, I don't know it's a first preseason game, but a veteran like Robinson uh, proved to be a liability in coverage. I don't want to see an entire season with Robinson on the outside. I have no problem with Jalen Mills on, on the other side as of right now. No problems with him. Um, but it was obvious we needed quarterback help. Now, so that's one of the reasons why I would like the trade for Darby. Darby's supposed to be potentially going to be our best healthy quarterback. Um, he has the potential to easily be doing that when he comes in. Um, that's something like Jordan Matthews being one of our uh, most consistent and most productive wide receivers in the last few years, especially building a strong relationship with Carson Wentz. I'm not going to like seeing that go, especially if the Nelson Aguilar project does not uh, prove to be successful. I am rooting for Aguilar, that's just me, but if the facts on the field prove otherwise, if he can't catch balls and he can't be as dynamic as they hope to be, um, and if Alshon Jeffrey is a little bit more hurt than we think, we might be thinner at wide receiver than we were last year, and I don't hope that to happen. We can't play scared, you got to go forward, so that's a reason not to like it because Jordan Matthews has been a proven commodity for us, even with this potential injury that he didn't get taken care of in the offseason. Um, that's a reason not to like it. Um, also, to be very honest with the organization itself, and not just looking at the player player, but let's look at the plan. This is nothing that snuck up on us. Uh, we're, it seemed like we are trying to band-aid something that we knew about like in April, especially not... Uh, Signing back Nolan Carroll and McKelvin, we knew they were going to be going away, so we had to come up with a, a fix for a cornerback. And we drafted two, but then one of them was injured until like at least near the end of the season. And the other one, I mean, are we going to put all of our eggs in Russell Douglas's basket? And it looks like that's what we did. Didn't exactly pan out. Now, you have Darby, uh, you have Jalen Mills, you have Douglas. And you have Sidney Jones coming back. That looks like it could potentially be our future. And I'm okay with that. Uh, so let's just keep this short. Those are my thoughts with there. Last but not least, Jordan Matthews. Now, I personally was able to spend time with Jordan Matthews a, a few years ago. And we were actually doing some community service stuff. And what it was really cool about doing this kind of community service stuff is that when he showed up to do some outreach in a very dangerous part of Philadelphia, uh, the cameras weren't rolling. So we were up in Kensington. Uh, uh, a couple of Eagles showed up, but I'll name him uh, at this time. We were up in Kensington, and we were going out into the community trying to encourage uh, especially young men to change the direction of their life and uh, stop doing what is unsuccessful and do what's successful. And Jordan Matthews, of course, he had like a, a chaperone, like some of us walked around, some of us that knew, know the area a little better and know what places not to go to. Um, we ended up on this really, really dangerous block and Jordan Matthews uh, not only was happy to talk with people, but there was a point where he told us as like some of the chaperones to, to stand back for a second because he had a message to really say to <laughs> active drug dealers in the corner. That guy has the ability to put his heart out there. And I can only but respect that. You say what you want about the field and his ceiling and what he's able to contribute, whatever. The fact is, Buffalo is getting a high character guy, high quality guy. And I hope he does very well. Jordan Matthews, uh, for the time that I spent with you, you uh, were nothing but a class act. And I very much uh, am blessed to know that somebody like you was in my city trying to make it better. Even though you're not from Philly, you made it home for the time that you were here. Uh, Buffalo, please take care of him. And uh, don't
don't just expect all sorts of like bring him in as family and uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So Jordan Matthews is out. He's in Buffalo. We'll join up with uh, LaShawn McCoy again. Um, and uh, we get a quarterback. And we give up a third round draft pick next year. More to come. Go Birds.